Uh, we've got a kind of peculiar anomaly here. On the um, film for you watching, if you're watching this now, but obviously not if you're watching this live, um, this second round was done after round four because Ashton's so busy changing nappies that he forgot to bring his questions in his last sentence. So, what's her name? Lucy. Lucy. Thanks, Lucy, for letting come. Thanks for sending the questions. Uh, I hope you crossed out all the football ones today. Uh, uh, the, ones. <laughs> uh, the clock is rolling. We are just about ready to shoot off. Let's do it, Ashton. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Question one. In 1967, the extra E in which word was said by Tony Benn to stand for excellence, England, Europe and Entente. How old were you? Uh, Richardson. Concord. Correct. Ah! <laughs> Let me just, uh, initially it will zoom across a little bit. Okay. Go. This man was born in Lewisham in 1915. He's the most recent person outside the royal family to be granted a British hereditary title. He first married in 1942, but his wife left him for another man. Michael! Oh! He first married in 1942, but his wife left him for another man. His children from his subsequent marriage only learned of this first marriage that was revealed by the media in 1976. Preston! Charlie Chaplin? Nope. Uh, let me just get that. Go on. A qualified rugby referee, he met his second wife at the Paint Trade Federation function in Dartford. He was watching a test match at the Oval when their twins were born. Who is this man, satirised as the author of the Dear Bill letters in Private Eye? Dennis Satcher. Oh, come on. Go. Name either of the participants in the 1978 final of the Wormwood Scrubs Chess Tournament. Walmsley. Ian Brady. Yes. Yeah. The other one? The other one. He's sung again. The other one. John Stonehouse. That's it. What a fantastic question. Right. <laughs> this doesn't sound like it would be fantastic. Football. No. Like a lepidopterist mounting a tough skinned insect with a two blunt pin, he screwed himself into her. <laughs> the frenzy of his bulbous salutation whacked and smacked its way into Eliza's body. These passages by Rowan Somerville and Morrissey, respectively. <laughs> Richard, sir. The Bad Sex in Literature Award. Yeah, Bad Sex in yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tony, there's a pattern developing here, go on. In 1986, the French film director Roger Vadim published his autobiography entitled My Life with the Three Most Beautiful Women in the World, two of whom he married, the other one bore his child. Name any two of those. <coughs> Walmsley. Uh, Bridget Bardot and Jane Fonda. Yeah. Well, well, Who was the last Republican? to win an American presidential election without having either a Bush or a Nixon on the ticket? End of question. <coughs> Richard <coughs> Richard. <coughs> <coughs> that pub developing. What was the answer? Hoover. Hoover, Hoover. Go. Okay. Shortly after the success of Operation Humpty Dumpty 50 years ago, Whose head was liberated? Clyde Nelson. Yeah. Could you finish that question off? Yeah. yeah. Whose head was liberated from police custody and then went walkabout, making appearances at a London fashion shoot in the midst of the students' rag day parade and most famously live on stage with the Dubliners. Today the head rests in the Dublin City Library. Still, 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 there has been no British winner since Zach at Mr. Magnet Monroe's back-to-back -back victories in 2001 and 2002, although Tom Wild Thing Wilding came third in 2013. Other notable contestants have included Craig Hotlix Belmire, Pelvis Fenderbender, <coughs> Richardson, the World Air Guitar Championship. Right. <laughs> I always thought this was going to happen between you two, you know. 
Malcolm Bradbury called this thing the most advanced form of warfare in the world. Abraham Lincoln described it as purgatory. Oscar Wilde called it the triumph of imagination. Wildly. Uh, post uh, positivism. Uh, so let me just uh, minus Tony for one. Uh, Clive. Married? Yes. Let's go. He played himself in a 1983 film. He was named after the owner's grandchildren, Alistair, David, Nicola and Timothy. His greatest triumph was 62nd in Channel 4's poll of greatest sporting moments. Trained by Josh Gifford, who was this <coughs> man? Preston. It's old and easy. It is old and easy. Coach. Which children's book of 1960 was written as the result of a bet between the author and his publisher that he couldn't write an entire book using only 50 words? Michael. Green Eggs and Ham? Yeah. What was it? Green Eggs and Ham. I do not like Green Eggs and Ham. Go <clears throat> This town is situated in the hundred of Hammerstam. Its lack of cultural amenities led to being declared the most uncultured town in Britain by the Times in 2004. It's the original home of Hovis Bread, Situated on the River Bolin, it's the hometown of Mr. Methane, the world's only professional performing flatulist, <laughs> and birthplace of Ben Ainsley and BBC editor Nick Robinson. Ah! Preston? Macclesfield. Yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are we, we up to map pads in now? I was getting to the map oh. next thing. Oh. Yeah. To get Davis okay. approaches the next question while Preston stands ready for his hat trick. What is the significance of the postcodes KW14YR and TR197AA? Michael, presume. Have you finished yet? Yeah. Want to repeat the question? Yeah. Please, yeah. yeah. KW14YR and TR197AA. It's Laycock, sorry. Zoos? Uh, nothing. Uh, yeah, no minus. Royal Gardens? No. Ah! Palliser? No. Clive? Must smell the wings for the loop? No. Rose? Most easterly and westerly? No. Nathan <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Carlisle? No. I no. won't press for that though. Uh, Rose? One thing. Most northwesterly and southeasterly. Yes, John O'Groats and Land's End. Yes. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> now I know that there'll be one or two people watching that. Of course, KW was Kurt Walker. Kurt Walker, of course, yeah. Come to this, you'll nip in on a couple of show. <clears throat> Let's go. This man was born in London in 1930. In the 1960s, he was a writer on The Dick Emery Show. His study was dominated by a huge portrait of himself playing cricket as a young man. Clive Finder. As a result of which crime was the border between England and Scotland closed on Christmas Day 1950? Richardson. The theft of the Stone of School. Yeah. How did it go? Uh, Derived from his Irish captain at Leicester Tigers, pronunciation of his surname, what is it? Twelve trees. No. No, he's not. Well, oh, prompt. <laughs> no. Michael? Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Yeah. Oh, twelve trees. 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 Feel the pain on this, everybody. Feel the pain. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh dear. According to TV comedy scriptwriter Jimmy Perry, what did his father say to him? Why, you stupid boy? I hate to say this is a really good set of questions. <laughs> Clive and Tony, duking it out. Go on. Which country's most northerly point is the furthest south? Oh, God. Uh, Preston, you finished the question? Yeah, it's Canada. No. Uh, Lake off. No. Chris? Russia? Russia? No. Kid? 
And we will go for Argentina. Who? Mine. Lovely. Happy New Guinea. No. Rose. Here we go. Yes. And we are so who got that one? Steve. Steve. Kelly, I'll play that one. Seems to go. Which well-known logo, designed in 1958, was described by its creator as a composite of a symbol representing an unborn baby, a dying man, and the semaphore symbols for two letters, namely D and N? C and D. Yeah. One. one minute. Go. It started in the Balkans as a protest in 1961. It survived only in Eastern Europe until 2010, when some English citizens caught sight of it on the banks of the River Warta and brought it triumphantly back home where it flourished for a couple of years. Its most famous outing was on 13th May 2012, when those self-same citizens had their biggest celebration for 43 years, thanks to very late interventions by a Bosnian and Argentinian. Requiring participants to ignore the proceedings they have paid to witness, and synonymous with the supporters of Manchester City, by what name is this? Uh, it's the uh, Poznan thing. Poznan, yeah. Poznan dance thing, back with dance things. Poznan. Turn the back and don't, 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 don't make it worse. Well, I've got a point for it, so I can't. Can uh, that's it. it. Great. That's the question. Uh, uh, possibly Mark Laycock. And for the rest of you, you can now see the ongoing scores with Clive Dunning on 35, going from strength to strength in the first position. Other people on double figures, Ashton Davies on 14, Tom Richard on 15, Michael McCann on 14, fighting for the silver medal. Uh, I'm going backwards. <laughs> Go on. At least I can't score any minuses this round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Conspirators, Jack Kidd, Smith the Weaver, and Dick the Butcher. Go back a No. Minus one. 57? No. I don't know what Clive said, but I presume that's wrong. minus one the way. Right, uh, Rhodes. Peasants Revolt? No. Uh, okay, carry on. And Dick the Butcher, a deep in conversation in Shakespeare's Henry VI, Part Two. Jack describes his ideal of a perfect England. What does Dick suggest as the first step to it? Kill all the lawyers. Kill all the lawyers. Let's go. And the lawyers. We are. Which ice cream lolly on a stick launched in 1982 as a pineapple ice cream? Chris. Twist. Well, 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 it's not a tree. Trees. Go. The fire, which started on Sunday, October 8th, 1871, in the O'Leary Park. No, man. Great fire of Chicago. Chicago? Well done. Press just in case he wanted the animal. Go on, what Chicago? Born in Rochester, New York in 1969, this person's adult movie database entry includes roles in a Hulk and Avengers. Michael. China. China. Oh, oh it had to be. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. He said before, we had a very long question there, thank you. Which no one else would know the answer to. About six people peering over the cliff there. Go on. <laughs> Although associated with the aesthetic movement, artist Aubrey Beardsley is best known for his contribution to the development of which artistic movement, where is sparse, grotesque, and often overtly sexual. It's Preston. Prince? No. One moment. Carry on. 
and often overtly sexual, finely inked posters typifies this new style. Hey Clive, Art Deco. No, Art Deco. <coughs> oh, sorry Clive, uh, nothing at all there. I'm not even listening. Uh, Richardson. The Arts and Crafts Movement? No. Uh, that's me, kid, and we'll go for... I've lost, gone. Next, Chris. The last. No. Hey, Dev. Art Brute? No. Norman? Boxes. No. Rose? Surrealism. No. Go on. Art Nouveau? Yeah. Good go. Aside from commemorative issues, which monetary animal is featured on the reverse of the Australian 20 cent coin since 1900? I just put the word monotreme in there at the last minute, I shouldn't have put it. Uh, I'm it. I'm <laughs> what links? Number six, the fat. Number nine, the saint. Uh, Charles? No. Kid, minus one, and five. The uh, kings of France. Nicknames. Nicknames, kings of France. Well, uh, Louis. King Louis of France. Yes. I work for that. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Mail on Sunday, Roots and the Wild Ones are all albums by which hip hop artist. His hit singles also include Right Round, Club Cat, Michael, Floor Rider, Floor Rider. You've just been there, I thought you'd got that. No interest. Yeah. Floor Rider's <laughs> on. A gold hen. 13 diamond encrusted women's toilet implements, a replica of the ship Pamiat Azova, a peacock, and a miniature gold replica of a Russian imperial coronation coat. Fabergé. Fabergé. No uh, Sorry. Go on. Sons of Liberty, Revengeance, Peace Walker, Guns of the Patriots. Ramsey. Michael. Metal Gear song. Metal Gear. What? What is it? You can't. You can't. Metal Gear everything. We're good to go? Yeah. Dropsy is an out... Yeah, go on. Dropsy is an outdated term for which many... Oedema. 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 Singer, Brian Johnson... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, uh, and I want to pass. I want to say Jordan. No. Can you say that again? It's no. for, yeah. for people pressed it. Uh, Debs. Axel Rose. No. Oh. Uh, so, minus one for me, minus one for Debs. Ashton. ACDs. No. Rose. Bon Scott. No. <laughs> you. So, can you start again? So oh, I'm certainly can, yeah. We're we good to start again now, is everybody Yeah, yeah we right. Singer Brian Johnson, who had a 1960 top 20 hit with his entry single Looking High, High, High. High. Uh, Rota Walmsley. You were in Song Contest? No. Oh! Yeah. It was. Go on. Came runner up in the Eurovision Song Contest representing which country? Norman. Great Britain. Yeah, you're not Yeah. <laughs> uh, just while I get the scores. That's I a was... swerve question, yeah. Steve. Uh, yes, I agree, but you can, you, you know how to recognise them, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Norman, did you I get that? I didn't know who was. It went. I knew he was in Looking high, 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 looking low, low, low. Yeah. Wondering why, where, where did she go, go, go? Yeah, high, 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 high. What? I'm asking if you're like that. What with me doing it? Oh, I love her so. Go! Attributed to Luo Guanshong. What? <laughs> Attributed to Luo Guanshong, awesome. which historical novel is set in the turbulent years towards the end of the Chinese Han Dynasty in 169 and ending with the reunification of the land in 280 AD? 
Uh, kid, the water magic. No. <laughs> no. Uh, well, the only one I know is Journey to the West. No. The way to the south of the water magic of Blanchard Paul, with the evil head of a cow tooth. You look a little bit like cow tooth. You had a bit of a stash there, didn't you? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> no. Michael. No, no, monkey. No, monkey. <laughs> 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 It's the Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Compulsory bedtime reading in Halifax for the real. Pretty enough dynasty warriors, you know. In which town, the commune of Florence, was Leonardo da Vinci born? Largely? Vinci. Yeah, Vinci. Oh, no. <laughs> Supposedly taken by gynaecologist Robert Kenneth Wilson and published in the Daily Mail on 21st of <coughs> That's Richard Trent. What rest monster? What rest monster? Yeah. The yeah. surgeon's photograph. Yeah. Oh. Which photo sharing website that allows users to create and manage theme based image collection launched in 2010 was created by. Uh, Chris. Instagram. Not Instagram. Lovely. Snapshot. No, Snapshot. Preston. Snapchat. No, Snapchat. No. Uh, kid, Flicker? No. Oh, so can I put all these people on minus one, please? Certainly. Chris, <laughs> where are you? <laughs> Down here? I'm in Snapchat. One, please. Preston. Kid. I oh, guess this we've had so far. Was created by Paul Ciara, Evan Sharp, and Ben Silberman. Michael. Photo bucket? Not photo bucket. Mm -hmm. No? You get your revenge here, that, yeah. Pinterest. Pinterest. Oh. Pinterest. Oh. Good to go. Which actor created the martial arts style and founded the martial arts school? <laughs> Walsley. Bruce Lee. No. The created the martial arts. Well, did. Minus one. <laughs> You've got something to then. John Paul Van Damme. No. Created the martial arts school called Chun Kuk Do. It's uh, Chris. Jackie Chan. No. It's Michael. Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. Yeah. No, I'm so what? No, John Paul. Chuck is really like everyone. And the answer was right because Chuck Norris said so. Which plant has the Latin name Polymonium caruleum? It produces cup shaped lavender covered or white flowers. Also known as Greek valerian, it takes its name from a biblical dream occurring in Genesis 2. It's Richardson by 150 for the second. Oh, no. Ashton. Jacob's Ladder? Jacob's Ladder. Yeah. Oh, right. So, Richardson, I'm afraid I've got to do you there. Yep. <laughs> and who gets the point? Mr. Ashton Davis. <laughs> Carry on, please. Last question. Which comic character's real name is Octavius Federidge Tinsworthy? His comic strip adventures usually revolved around him garnering money to the value of £1.49. <laughs> Michael. Eight is. Eight is. Who? Who's that? Eight 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 Catano Ripoli was hanged in Valencia in 1826. He then had his body placed in a barrel which was burned. He is thought to be the last victim of which historical event? <coughs> it was the one the talk about Spanish Inquisition. Yeah, didn't, didn't expect that answer. <laughs> 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 oh, funny, like yeah. Yeah. Nobody, nobody does. <laughs> okay, number two. In poker, what name is given to a hand that contains a pair of eights and a pair of eights? Chris. Dead man's hand. Dead man's hand. Again? Yeah. Yes, 
Washington. Uh, this character first appeared in a 1939 book written by Robert L. May, but is more famous for appearing in a song which Gene Autry took to number one in the US charts in 1949. The character in question is not allowed to join in activities with his peers. Ashton. Rudolph. Yeah, Rudolph. Yeah, Rudolph. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nash. Number four. Paul Newman won his own, only best up to score. Uh, no, man. Colour of money. Colour of money, yeah. Oh. Number five. This character first appeared in a 1932 story in the Weird Tales magazine. Can you come again, please? Yeah. This, this, ca this character first appeared in a 1932 story in Weird Tales magazine. He is the son of a village blacksmith, and during his life worked as a thief, mercenary and pirate, before becoming the king of Apollonia when he killed the previous tyrannical ruler. He is from the fictional Hyborian Age of Man, and is a native of Chimera, and is very powerfully built and bigger than most of his contemporaries. Created by the writer Robert E. Howard... It's Clive Conan. Conan the Barbarian, yeah. <coughs> Number six. Which country's national anthem is called the March of the Volunteers? Lovely. China. China, yeah. <coughs> yep. uh, this TV talent show was first broadcast in 2002. People who've appeared on it as contestants have gone on to win 13 Grammy Awards. A spin-off film from its first series from Justin to Kelly was nominated for seven rounds. <coughs> Uh, Richard, the American Idol. American Idol, yes. Do you want to answer? Can I speak in British? Go on. Uh, number eight. Following his death in 2005, John Paul II became only the fourth Pope to be given what title after his name? Lovely. Saint. Nope. Uh, Lake Up. Holy Father. Nope. Blessed. Okay, Chris. Have a CC? No. No. Sorry. Norman. Emeritus. No. Ashton. Munificent. No. <laughs> I'm going to top that then. Richard, sir. Sacred. No. Am I impressed there, sir? Uh, I thought you'd gone. Oh, no, oh, no, yes, yes, he said his name. Oh, no, I thought he said his name. He didn't say anything. Oh, no, I, I, I didn't hear him say my name, sir. No. It's the ventricle? No. You didn't make it. It's fast, fast. Right, that's the Go on. The Great. The Great, no. That's what it says. Not the Gold Gear one. Number nine. With bases in Lübeck, Hamburg, Stettin, Bremen, Rostock. Ashton. Hanseatic League. Hanseatic League, yeah. Number ten. Uh, this book was published in 1974 and gets its name from a 17th century nursery rhyme used as a counting game. It is the fifth of eight books to feature a character who works as an intelligence officer and follows on from the book. Uh, yeah, oh, that's crap. Right. Sorry about that. You got it. Were you were pressing as well? Yeah. Hey, do you want to call it a draw or do you want a fresh question? There's two, basically, one you Yeah, you do. So oh, we'll, we'll call it a draw. I'll try to get a point out of it. Yeah, okay then. Well, could you whisper out to the dead room? Uh, I, th I think the right answer is the answer. Tinker 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 Sorry about that, mate. My bad. But hey, I, I couldn't separate you. Normally, I can pick out just from listening to it. He'll, he'll come out and film my bus first. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's on. Let's go. At number 11. Featuring artists such as the Tavares, Cool and the Gang, and the Bee Gees. Saturday Night Fever. Saturday Night Fever, yep. That was I wanted to go on to Vargas, but then yeah. the Bee Gees kind of put me off. I thought, no, he's not going to give us that one. Go on. Twelve. Uh, what nickname is shared by the American comedian Milton Berle, the wrestler Jackie Palo? Chris? Leaping? No. 
Uh, this is minus one, Chris, by the way. I've got the ammo quite finished, yeah. Uh, five. Isn't it yawning then, Mr. T? Mr. TV. TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'll smack the pipe on that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Were you on that coming in? That was the last clue, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris, you're up. Right, uh, number 30. Which leader of the Soviet Union is shown fighting Ronald Reagan in the video? Uh, Rhodes. Gorbachev. Nope. Preston. Uh, Andropov. Nope. Rykov. Khrushchev. Nope. It's Yeltsin. All one away. Sorry? Yeltsin. No. Wolf. All one away. Okay, hang on a minute. Uh, so, Rhodes. Shout them out to me, will you? Preston. Me. Yeah, just take the point off. You. Oh, me. Where am I? Where am I? Uh, Chris. I was going to say Khrushchev myself. Um, yeah. <laughs> minus one. Uh, Clive. Janinko. Janinko, yeah. yeah. Mm. Have to Go on. Okay, 14. As a 10 year old boy, this Oxford graduate scored 207 on an IQ test. Designed for under 16s. He has produced TV shows such as Playing It Straight, Cash Cab, and Beauty and the Geek. He acted for the Royal Shakespeare Company and played the character Alan McKenna in Coronation Street. He provided the voiceover for the game shows The Whole 19 Yards and Mission Implausible, who, however, is probably most famous for being the producer and probable banker on the. Oh, the banker. Preston. Oh, I was going to say Richard Ogman, but it's his partner, isn't it? It's, a, uh, it's Gary somebody. No, 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 no. Minus one. Uh, the probable banker on Deal or No Deal and the presenter of the game show The Mall. <sighs> yeah, I see. So Go on. It. Yeah. It's called uh, Glenn Eugene. Glenn Eugene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course it is. Yeah, of course it is. That's not bad this time. Okay. Uh, before winning the Eurovision Song Contest. What? Before winning the Eurovision Song Contest with Books Fizz in 1981, which band was Cheryl Baker a member of when she represented the UK in 1970? Richard said Coco. Coco, yeah. Who in 2003 was registered as an honorary player at the age of 90 by Plymouth Argyle? Michael Foote. Michael Foote, yeah. yeah. Answer mate, you're, you're the the old uh, 17. Originally a novel by E. M. Nathanson and made into a film in 1967, which film produced three sequels called The Next Mission, The Deadly Mission? Lake Up. Dirty Dozen. Dirty Dozen, yeah. And Chris. Minus one. Minus one. Yeah. Uh, which word? which is the name of a 1992 Annie Lennox album, is also the name of a British sports car manufacturer of the 1960s, the first name of Frank Zappa's youngest daughter. It's me. It, it's Moon. No. Okay, Mobsley. Oh, Diva. Diva, yeah. Um, Mr. Wrestling Club. Oh, 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 you put me off with the car for oh, things. Yeah, yeah, me too. Oh. 19. Um, in 1953, what 1912 discovery by Charles Dawson in a... Uh, Norman. Hilt down man. Hilt down man, yeah. And the last one. Uh, this archipelago is part of Melanesia and is owned by France. 25% of the world's nickel can be found here. The Loyalty Islands and the Chesterfield Islands are located in this group, and the main island is called Grand Terry, where you'll find the capital. At Walsley. It's Bass here. St. No. Kitts. St. Kitts. No. Uh, Walsley. Where you'll find the capital, Numia. Ashton. New Caledonia. New Caledonia. Can we crack straight on with. Yeah. Nice set. Have you done it? Yeah. Cracking on with Clive, don't they?
we have to give an extra point to, I think, there. Did I give it? in positive, so... What did you end up, did you see your points on there? Did you get... I, I don't I think, think it went on. Did you get three correct in that, say? Okay, well, it'll all, come out, so, it. it'll all come out in the wash anyway. Yeah. Mm. Okay, Clive Dunning, set number seven. Right, the first five are like clues that build up to an easy clue, and then it's just a three for all after that. <laughs> uh, okay, number one. Um, I died, this is a person I'm after, I died in 1913 in mysterious circumstances aboard the steamship Dresden. After dinner, I retired to my cabin, but was never seen again. I was born in Paris in 1838, but from the age of 12, I was brought up in Germany. I'm perhaps most famous for the invention of an eponymous engine. Lake up. Wankel. No. Ah! Wankel. Diesel. Diesel. Yeah. Diesel. Uh, uh, do I deduct one from your man there? No, no, I've finished. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> All right. Every cloud. Uh, number two. Um, look for the name of an actor born in 1973 in London. Uh, his real surname is Clutterbuck. Is it Cumberbatch? No. That's one of them. Carry on. Uh, he had small roles in the films Enduring Love and Love Actually. <laughs> Richard said, Andrew Lincoln? It is. Oh, oh it. how do you even do that? <laughs> Mr. Good news, because I wanted to go for that. I didn't. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll stick uh, to you. Looking for an art movement active from 1886 to 1905. The name for this group was coined by the art critic Roger Fry. Leaders of the movement include Cezanne, Gauguin, and Van Gogh. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Number four. Uh, this is a look for the name of a song dating from the 18th century. It was originally part of an opera called Alfred, composed by Thomas Walsley. That's it. Hey, Dad. Yeah, it's still <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had a little floor out. Right, number five, look for a singer-songwriter born in Gibraltar in 1944. Uh, he's written such hits as When I Need You, Little Arrows. Well, I thought When I Need You was Leo Sayer, but it's not. Yeah, it's Leo Sayer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought it was Leo Sayer, but it's not. Minus one, Little Arrows, go on. Is it anybody else? Yeah, it's uh, Wamsley. Albert Hammond. It's Albert Hammond. Yes. Surprisingly, Tony's in the lead on Clive's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that's Tony Richardson. That's, 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 that's no, but you did it. Tony's in the same knowledge base. No, it's not. I thought I did all right. It was, Mark. I'm not quite on yours. Are we doing 20, is it? Yeah, 20, yeah. yeah. Okay, right, these are just free for all now. Um, which president appears on the $20 note? <laughs> uh, no, then. Andrew Jackson. Correct. Uh, not for long. No, he's gone. Well, yeah, and took the Yeah, it took yeah. Like uh, no, good, good points. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, the song "Diamonds Are a Girl's Breast Friend" appears in which film? Ashton. Gentlemen, prefer Come on. Oh, sorry, not yet. Yeah. All right. The parliamentary building of which country is known as the Bee Hive? New Zealand. It is, yeah. No. Oh. Okay. Where in human body would you find the bundle of hiss? Shit. In the ears. No. Laycock. Bollocks. Great. <laughs> that was my first thought. I'll give you a roach. <laughs> no. Uh, Chris. Lungs. No. Michael. Stomach. No. Walsley. Pancreas. No. Debs. Kidneys. No. Ashton. Spinal cord. No. Ah! Uh, neck, basically neck. No. Richardson. Skin. No. Is that it? Not far off. Do you want to go? 
Ah, risk. Ah, 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 nobody said that. Okay. Uh, which supermarket has the logo "Live Well" for less? Aldi. No. Yes. Sainsbury's. Yeah, that's right. Hey! I thought I was going to get in there when you were stumbling. Oh well. Might as well for me as well. I don't like it anymore. Let's go. Right, Malham Town in Yorkshire has what distinction? Well, it's the largest kind of lake in England. It's a source. It's not the source of the River Air. It's, it's not the largest lake outside the Lake District. It's not the largest lake outside You have the road. Gold called me for giving me some of my. It's the highest lake. Ah, it's the highest lake in the country. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what I'm saying. Didn't lose anything there, did I? Only a bit out there, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's go before you say. Horse racing. Oh, oh sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. What was the name of Lester Piggott's Lester Piggott's last derby? A opera. No. no. Ah. 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 Preston. Never say derby. No. That was his first. That's what I suppose it was. Rhodes. Arkham. No. No. I know what. What was like? Tinosaur. 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 Yeah. yeah. Mm. Was that pretty Pat Henry? Was, was no, 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 he no, he was Did you put my two on from the last No, but I'm going to do it now. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Hopefully you'll just get into the groove listening to that ting ting. Let's go. Right, um, against which international football team did Yuan Cruyff perform his finish? <laughs> Walmsley. Sweden. Yes. Mm. Okay. Okay. Apart from Inarato, the the, uh, the director, name one of the other two people who win Best Director Oscar two years in a row. Walter. John Paul. Yep. Who was the other one? Uh, Mangovitz. Joseph Mangovitz. Oh, yeah. what? Yeah, all about Eve and it's all the kids, man. Good question. Okay. Which chemical element was originally called inflammable air? Oxygen. No. Uh, Michael. Hydrogen. Hydrogen is correct. Uh, Michael. Are you finished? Yeah. Thank goodness. Go on. Whose last symphony was known as the Jupiter? A uh, handle. No. Walter. Water. Yeah. Rapper's real name is Timothy Mosley. Mosley, that's the one. It is Tim Mosley. <laughs> okay. Um, the Great Basin Desert is the largest in which country? Norman. Australia. No. Rhodes. That's taken by South Africa. No. Walter. New Zealand. No. That's what it's Australia as well. <laughs> Great Basin's nature is in China. No. Uh, Russia. Russia. No. Lakeup. Angola. No. Michael. USA. It's the USA. Well, it's the Great Sandy Desert is the Australia. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Who did Quentin Tarantino play in Reservoir Dogs? Michael. Mr. Brown. Mr. Yeah. Brown. Go. Which creatures suffer from Isle of Wight disease? Lovely. Bees. Bees, yeah. Get off the scale, Tony. Carry on. Flying Fish Cove is the capital. Lovely. Christmas Island. Oh, yeah. Uh, let, <coughs> yeah, ten to the second. Michael beat me last time, so I'm glad I beat him this time. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the present Prime Minister of France? Yes! 
uh, Manuel Files. That's it. Yeah, go on. Well done. Who created the fictional detective, Inspector Banks? What is it? It's what coin? Um, no. Press the ranking? No. Have a it? No. No. PG James? No. Ashley? Randall? No. Uh, Ashley Chris? Valtteri? No. Richard said, Dorothy L. Sears. Peter Robinson. Uh, what are we going to say, Norman? PD Jim. Peter Robinson. Okay. We'll have a quick break and we'll crack off with the last five.